Today I want to talk about religion. It's been a minute, a minute since I talked about religion. A lot of people have asked me, what are you as far as religion? I have responded to plenty of people on this channel, plenty of people on like my old videos who have responded in certain ways and I've told people certain things and a lot of people don't understand and they're sitting there like, what the hell are you? Okay, you talk against your Christianity, and you talk against this, and you talk against that. Again, what are you? I'm nothing. How about that? <laughs> well, I'm nothing in the sense of religion. I'm not a religious person. Again, if you know me from the beginning, if you've been following my videos from the very beginning, y'all know my story. Y'all know where I came from. I already explained a lot of it. I was raised in Christianity ever since I was about my whole life basically. But I'm going to say about age five-ish because that was around the time I believe my mom started going to church a whole lot back in Brooklyn. I was probably like maybe age five or six maybe, you know, she might have gotten saved at the, around that time. And I remember we started going to church a whole lot more. And that's when the whole Christianity thing started. Now, y'all y'all know my story already. If you don't know, you need to go back and watch my abuse videos. Y'all know my history. We moved to Georgia um, when I was 10, and we've been in that religion ever since. We basically moved to, I mean, for us to start attending World Changers Church. Which I can't stand now, by the way. But that's what we did. I was raised in Christianity for practically my whole life, like I said, the whole time embedded in that shit and y'all saw what happened y'all saw how the um the religion basically turned my family inside out you know it allowed the abuse to happen it, it gave justification for my parents to do certain things it gave justification for this to happen for that to happen for everything in my life to go completely wrong so coming out of that i have been practicing christianity since I was probably about 22 years old, 23 maybe. I ain't picked that Christian shit in, yeah, close to 10 years. It's been a long time. My husband and I both, we both have not picked that shit up. <laughs> we both saw the deception. In fact, he saw it first. He saw the deception first and he kind of put me on the path to seeing some things. And it took me a while, but I eventually saw it. You know, because eventually you can't run from certain, you can't hide the truth. And there are a lot of things you can't run from in religion. There are a lot of things that you can easily say to anybody. And it's like, you can't run from that. What, what you gonna say to that one? You don't have anything to say because it is what it so is. So again, I have not been in religion for a long time. I got rid of that Christian mentality years ago. Now, as far as debunking a religion, not debunking, as far as dropping a religion, it does take some time. It takes some time to fully shed that mentality, if you know what I mean. It takes some time. It's not going to just automatically just woo, whisk out of your head. It takes some time for you to get rid of certain thoughts and certain behaviors, which I've done a very good job on getting rid of. And you know, occasionally it creeps up. Very rarely do certain things creep up that have to do with religion. Now, like I said, I have not been a Christian in a long time, but. I also haven't picked up any other religion dropping Christianity. I did kind of pick up atheism for a while. Oh no! Yes, I did. I picked up atheism for a while because although I've always believed in something, something, I had a time where I didn't believe in shit. Like, I'm just being real with y'all. I didn't believe in jack squat. There was a time I didn't believe that there was any higher power at all based on what I had been through because nobody had ever saved me. But deep down through all my years, through the few years that I went through atheism, and I was really heavily burst into that. I was, you know, reading a lot of things and talking a lot of atheists on Twitter because Twitter has a wide, wide family of atheists. Through going through all that, I realized that I'm not a part of the atheist community. I don't really, really think like them. I can't say how long I was dabbling in atheism. I can't even say how long. I could, I can estimate maybe about uh, three to five years, maybe. 
maybe um that's just about that's just an estimate of how long that's just an estimate of how long I believe I was heavily into it and it wasn't like heavy to where I religiously um, walked around and proclaimed it to people because I never did that I'll talk about it on Instagram I put up a lot of atheist memes I talk about it on Twitter but I didn't you know do anything more than that it was just okay well I'm an atheist and this is why and I did that for a while and that was the only the only other thought I had picked up because you know I don't religion hop I don't I'm not one of those type of people who ends up dabbling in every religion just to find myself. Like I dabble in here and I do this for a couple of years and I dabble in there and I do this for a couple of years. I don't do that. That's not how my mind works. I don't want to do that. There are some people who go through life and they want to try every single religion or they want to try multiple religions trying to find themselves and they ultimately do that until they find something that they believe sticks. That's not me. As of now, I don't believe I will ever do that. So I went from Christianity and I went straight to atheism, which makes a lot of sense considering my story. Of course, I'm not going to believe in anything after all that. I mean, seriously, who wouldn't? But like I said, I don't religion hop. So when I came to the conclusion that I don't fully think as an atheist, I went to, then I started calling myself an agnostic. Now these are not religions. Atheism and agnosticism are not religions those are just ways of life those are just it's a thought process it's a thought pattern atheism and agnosticism are not considered religions and atheists hate when atheism is being called a religion because it's not it's not a it's not a religion how are you going to have how are you going to call atheism a religion when atheism is the lack of a belief in a deity that does not make any sense there's nothing to be religious about if there's a lack of belief in a deity like you just don't believe in anything if you don't believe in anything then that's not a religion you're just free you don't believe in there's nothing <laughs> okay you believe in science you believe in nature you believe in what is what you can see you believe in what's tangible in front of you that's all it is it's not a religion, it's not a diehard religion where you need a book. It's not a, it's not a religion that you follow and there's, there's a specific code, there's a specific ruler. It's not like that. Atheism is just free. You just believe in what is and what isn't based on science. But, like I said, I went through a journey of trying to be an atheist and, like I said, I fully realized that I don't entirely think like an atheist. I don't entirely believe that there's no God out there. I don't entirely believe that there's no being higher than us. I believe in multiple be multiple beings, multiple entities rather, if you know what I mean. I know I've said that in another video, but technically I believe in multiple entities, multiple higher beings. There is no one true God in my eyes. So, like I said, Christianity, Muslim, Judaism, Jehovah's Witness, none of that resonates with me. None of it to me, all of that's bullshit. But, like I said, atheism didn't quite resonate with me either. I realized I do believe in something. I do believe in some kind of higher being. I believe in multiple higher beings. I believe that nature itself is a higher being. Trees have spirits. Flowers have spirits. The earth itself has a spirit. Mother nature itself is a spirit. So, that being said, I'm more in the agnostic category. Like I said, I'm more in the agnostic category, so it took me a while to accept that, and you know, it's been it's been interesting. It's been an interesting ride. I haven't done any like research on it in a while, but there hasn't been any research no need to be done. Well, wow, I actually forgot the definition of agnosticism. What the fuck? Okay, hold on, let me look it up. Let me give you guys the definition of agnostic. Okay, the basic definition of agnostic is. A person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God or of anything beyond material phenomena. Hmm. A person who claims neither faith nor disbelief in God. And yeah, that's pretty much me. Um, like I said, I do believe there is some kind of being, but it's not the God that we all talk about in church. It's not the um it's not the being that we're constantly being told about it's not 
the God that we're taught that we're told to worship in church because apparently that particular God either doesn't exist or he's an asshole. Hey, I'm just gonna be real with it. That God is an asshole in my eyes because I'm not gonna get into all of that. There's a whole lot of things in the Bible that claims that. There's a whole lot of things that this God has done. There's a whole lot of things that this God has damned people to. And like I said, it's, it's crazy. There's no reason to even believe in Christianity. There's no reason to even worship a God who does those things. There's no reason. So again, I'm agnostic. I'm not, a, I'm not an atheist. I'm agnostic. And along with that agnosticism, I'm also spiritual. Spiritual is that's just the simplest term to define me. I'm pretty much a hippie. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I am one hell of a hippie. <laughs> I am pretty much one hell of a hippie. That, that's just me in a nutshell. I'm very hippie minded. I'm very old fashioned. I'm very much into nature. I'm very much like that. So spirituality, genuine spirituality as a whole resonates with me. You know, meditation, eating right, hanging in nature, yoga, um, being a humanitarian, just being nice to everybody. Um, you know, just the basic things. The basic things. That's me, y'all. That's what I do. That's what I've grown to do. That's what I've learned to do all these years. It took me a long time to get to this point, but I'm glad I'm here. And that's who I am. I am a, I am a genuine uh, what's the word? A humanitarian, I guess. You know, um, that's who I am. So I don't do religion. I'm not into any religion. If I was to try religion, if I was, let's say I was, I wanted to define myself. If I wanted to jump down a certain path, if I wanted to purposely put myself in a religion, it would be either, it's going to be kind of sticky to some of y'all, but it will be either Wicca or Buddhism. Y'all like, what the fuck? Wicca? Yes, Wicca. Wicca, however you pronounce it. As in, yes, the witchcraft studies. <gasps> I mean, hey, me and my husband have dabbled a little bit into studying about that. And, um, it is labeled as religion, which is why I'm not going to fully delve into it. But witchcraft, it has its truths as well. Witchcraft, that side of life, it can be bad if you do it wrong, but it has its truths. It has a, its... You know major truths there's a reason why they burned witches years ago there's a reason why um women who are considered witches were burned at the stake there's a reason for that it's not just because oh they were evil they were just walking around you know causing uh, throwing curses on people no that was not the case if you really really look into the, the history of wicca you will see that wicca you can you'll see that it's not all bad it's not all bad but again, if I was to choose something, it would either be that or Buddhism, because Buddhism is very pure. Buddhism is a very pure way of thinking. And I know you guys have seen Buddhist quotes all over the place. I know you guys have seen that. And um, I've researched, and of course, we all know by now, Buddha was a black man. We can see on the statue, he has curls in his hair. So that's also another interesting concept or another interesting reason to pay attention to Buddhist quotes, you know, it's very, it's, it's interesting. You know, I like looking at Buddhist quotes sometimes, but I don't consider myself a Buddhist. I don't practice everything they do, you know? I'm the type of person I like to take a little bit from every religion and form my own way of life, form my own way of thinking. I think that's technically the best way to live. You don't adapt to what man has created or what man throws out there and puts it and puts in a box to say, well, you gotta define yourself as this. Oh, I wanted to find myself as that. Oh, well, then you must be this. No, you don't have to always define yourself. You can just say you're spiritual. That's it. You can just be free, free from the box, because spiritually can mean anything. Spiritual means a lot of things. Like I said, you can take the good from every religion and put it all in one nice pretty package and make yourself mold yourself into that. And that's pretty much what you got. You got your own religion. Like it's just that easy, y'all. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Spirituality is just that easy. You take what you know from religion and you put it into a box and that's how you mold yourself. You don't have to put a label on yourself. If you don't consider yourself religious, you don't have to. You don't have to put a label. You don't have to say, oh, I'm Buddhist. You don't have to say, oh, you don't have to say you're spiritual. You just say, okay, I am me. I don't follow anything. And I tell everybody, 
I don't follow anything. I don't follow anyone. I don't follow any celebrity. I don't follow any so-called hero. I don't follow any so any speaker, any movie star, no singer, no nothing. I don't follow anyone. I don't worship anybody. I worship nature. That's what I worship. I worship nature. Too many of us don't worship nature, and that's why nature is dying, because nobody cares about Mother Nature. And that's essentially what everybody should be paying attention to. We, we don't worship nature. We, we worship um, unknown deities. We worship deities we've never seen or felt or dealt with in our lives, and we call that spiritual spirituality. We call that being Christian-like. We call that being, you know, religious. We call that a good thing. But we're damaging the earth, we're damaging the one thing, the one entity we're supposed to be paying attention to, and that's what I don't agree with, with religion. We're, we're not focusing on that. We just say, okay, well, I'm, I'm Muslim. Okay, that's nice. Oh, I'm Jehovah's Witness. Okay, well, that's nice. Uh, what are you doing for the earth? <laughs> that's how I look at it. And what are you doing to help the environment? What do you do for the environment? <laughs> But again, anyway, I don't religion hop, and that's pretty much it. I know I said a mouthful in this video. Like I said, I am spiritual, I'm a hippie, I'm a nature lover, a tree hugger, a tea sipper, earth worshiper, whatever the fuck you want to call me, that's what I am. And that's it. That's just as simple as it is. I'm going to just keep it simple because that's what I'm working on doing, keeping life simple. If you keep life simple, you're good. Keep it simple and real. Those are the two main formulas to life. <laughs> so yeah, that being said, I believe I'm done. I believe I've said everything that I wanted to say. Um, if you have any comments, then you comment them down below. Write your thoughts and opinions. And I'll be sure to get back with you. You know I do. Make sure you subscribe. I have a whole lot more videos coming up. Give me some ideas in the comment box about what you want me to talk about next. Or anything. Just give me any ideas you want. Let me know your experiences with religion. Let me know your experiences with anything. You know, just write them down below. And yeah. I hope you're having a great hour, second, minute, day. Okay, I said that. Um, well, there's no specific way to say it. Just, just have a good day. Hope you're having a good day and a good moment. <laughs> And yeah, that's just about it. Make sure you be real all the time. Be real to yourself and those around you. Thanks for watching.